Oh, I can drop it myself. You can take it out. Thank you. Yeah, I, I will take it out. Thank you. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Uh, I'm the unenviable uh, guy who has to follow Lick My Cone. Uh, <laughs> I'm Dan. How are you? Um, the, my friends, actually, I am friends with, uh, with uh, the juvenile delinquent over there. And I, uh, I was asked to do the story slam because of them. And they told me that the theme was teen spirit. And I really, kind of like Mike, didn't know what to talk about because I really don't remember much about having teen spirit. And maybe this speaks to me being more of a pessimist. I can really only remember my teen spirit being broken. Uh, and I tried to think of something positive, and, and all I could come up with was uh, the story of how I was trained in karate by an evil sensei. Now, now, when I was a kid, I really didn't have a lot of direction. I wanted to do a lot. I wanted to run around, but I didn't really want to do anything. Guitar lessons, no. Piano lessons, no. You know, athletics, no. Finally, my mom figured out something to channel my boundless energy. It was karate. Now, as a kid, I didn't like really anything organized, but like any child, the, the lore of doing Bruce Lee, like, hiya! It's like crack cocaine. So, of course, I said yes, uh, and I enrolled in karate. Now, uh, I don't really want to give up too much about this karate place, because it's kind of local. Uh, but <laughs> but um, I went there, and it was really interesting, and I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I really enjoyed it. So much so that I'm about to share something with this crowd that I've never shared, even with people I've dated. I went to karate camp. Yeah, like I really liked it. And part of it was because of my sensei, uh, a guy named, I don't want to use his real name, let's call him Master Roshi. All right, so ma ma Master Roshi, he was great. He was everything you looked for in uh, you know, a karate instructor. He was an ancient Asian guy who could turn cement blocks into dust with his fist. I mean, those are really the three uh, categories that you look for. So uh, I, I loved every second of it, uh, so much so that me and my best friend, we got inducted into like the special karate class, wherein every other kid had to go for their belt exam to go from white belt to green belt all the way up. Uh, they had to do that every three months, whereas I and my friends only had to do it every one month. Uh, so I really quickly rose uh, in the ranks, and we actually got to be taught specifically by like the master Roshi himself. Uh, <laughs> And he was great. He told corny jokes. He taught me how to fight. It was, it was awesome. I mean, and I was good at it. I used to chase kids around. I, I would scare children in the ring. I was a little terror. So uh, you know, I was a kid, and uh, my good sense was really reined in by my ADD. So pretty quickly, uh, by the time I was about 13, so I'm barely skirting the teenage years here, uh, I started going through puberty. I was like, oh, this is stupid. Karate's stupid. So like, I stopped. Uh, fast forward to me being about 19. I'm at a party, and I'm telling a similar story to the one I'm telling you. Uh, someone stops me at the party and says, whoa, whoa, wait, you were trained by Master Roshi? And I was like, uh, yeah, uh, do you know him? Yeah, I know him. I'm a double black belt. I follow the American Karate Association, and that guy's a jerk. He actually defrauded the American Karate Association of about a million dollars. He just straight up embezzled it from the organization and left to God knows where, as we know, to open a local karate establishment. But the, so uh, that's sort of when I found out. You know, I had to come to terms with this. Like, oh my God! You know, the the man that taught me karate was an evil man, and and I really should have I really should have seen it coming because. Uh, you know, for, for starters, uh, he always wore like a black uh, kimono when he, when he broke cement blocks. He, he taught at a place called, oh God, this is a real name, the Dragon Gym. Look it up, everyone. Uh, and uh, he also kept telling me to sweep Ralph Macchio's leg. So I kind of knew he was, uh, was kind of up to no good. Uh, and, and this kind of floored me when I heard it. You know, oh my God, I was trained by an evil sensei. That, that must make me an evil karate master. And I kind of realized, you know, that's not really the end of all things as an adult. Uh, you know, I figured I don't have to necessarily turn to a life of crime now. Uh, I could kind of be like Kane in Kung Fu, if, if anyone loved Kung Fu. Uh, you know, he, he spends his life atoning for his sins uh, by walking the earth uh, and doing good. But, you know, I'm almost 30 now. Walking the earth, ah, oh, it's such a pain. So kind of right now, uh, my, my penance is I walk the mall. You know, so uh, essentially, if, you, if, if you're at the mall and you see me and some wrong has been done to you, 
just keep an eye out because I'll be there, probably in between Cinnabon and uh, Annie Ann's pretzels. Uh, but, but if you see me and some wrong is done to you, come and find me. I've got some karate skills and I'm ready to help. Thank you very much.